Apple has just released iOS 18.4, bringing a major update for iPhones and iPads, and in this video I'll walk you through the newest features, improvements, and hidden changes in iOS 18.4. Before diving into Apple Intelligence, let's start with the general changes in iOS 18.4. One of the biggest updates is in the Photos app. In the library, there are two new filter options, Shared with you and Not in an album. The Media Types and Other sections now have an Edit button that lets you rearrange the order and there's also a Reset option to restore the default layout. There's also a small but useful change in the Photos settings. You can now manually enable or disable the Recently Viewed and Recently Shared folders. Another tweak is that if Face ID is enabled for the hidden album, it will no longer be accessible when importing photos to a computer. Moving on to the control center, there's a new section for ambient sounds with preset options like sleep, chill, productivity, and wellness. You can now also see your Wi-Fi and cellular signal strength directly within the control center. The podcast app has received new widgets, which now include categories like library and shows. Safari has also been updated to display recent search history under the search bar. This feature can be cleared or disabled in the settings. For those using AirPod Max, iOS 18.4 officially supports lossless audio for the new USB-C AirPods Max. Apple has also made some improvements to the App Store. It now provides summaries of users, making it easier to get key insights at a glance. Additionally, app updates can now be paused and resumed without having to start over again. For Vision Pro users, there's a new Vision Pro app for iPhone. This app allows you to manage Vision Pro content directly from your iPhone. Apple has also introduced improvements for family sharing. The setup process for child accounts has been enhanced and app limits will now persist even if a child deletes and reinstalls an app. Now let's talk about Apple Intelligence. This feature is only available on the iPhone 15 and 16 series and on the iPads with an A17 Pro chip or Macs with at least an M1 chip. After updating, you will be prompted to activate Apple Intelligence. If you don't see the prompt, you can enable it manually in the settings under Apple Intelligence. The new Visual Intelligence feature lets you analyze images using the camera. You can access it through the camera interface, the control center, or the action button. This tool allows you to identify objects, ask questions about them, or search for similar images online. If enabled, ChatGPT interactions can be used for more advanced analysis. Siri has also received some updates. You can now activate it by double tapping the bottom of the screen to bring up a text input field. Additionally, Siri can use a chat GPT for a certain queries, but this must be manually enabled in the settings. If you prefer, you can also disable this feature entirely. Apple has introduced an AI-powered image generator called Image Playground. This allows users to create AI-generated images in different styles, such as animation, illustration, and sketch. In the Notes app, you can even convert hand-down sketches into AI-generated images. Another fun addition is Genmoji, which lets you create custom emojis based on your descriptions. These Genmojis are saved as stickers and sync across all your Apple devices. In the Photos app, Apple Intelligence now includes a cleanup tool that can remove unwanted objects or people from images. The results vary depending on the complexity of the image, but in many cases, it works surprisingly well. On the security side, iOS 18.4 includes multiple security patches. Apple hasn't released full details yet, but based on previous updates, we can expect a significant number of fixes. Users have also reported improved stability and better battery performance, but I'd love to hear your experience. That wraps up the most important features in iOS 18.4. What do you think of this update? Have you installed it yet? Let me know in the comments. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, then give it a like to let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.